Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about how we can apply color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve 15's color tab with what's called a lookup table, a LUT. So these LUTs take the original color of your video, apply a bunch of math to it, and allow you to get a different output. So this would be able to do things like increase the color variety inside of your video, to change the hue of the video, maybe give it a darker or a brighter tone, um, increase the gamma, and those kinds of things. And what's nice about LUTs is that there's a lot available online. So I'll also show you guys how you can install any packs of LUTs that you may find. So to get over to the color tab for a video that you're currently editing, go over to the fourth tab on the bottom of DaVinci Resolve 15. This is the color tab. So on the color tab, you'll find a button on the top left hand corner called LUTs. So if you click on that, it'll actually give you access to all of the LUTs that are currently installed on your computer. And you can see that they have quite a few defaults that play around with things like gamma, making colors more vibrant, everything I previously mentioned. So if you want to apply one of these LUTs to your video and take a look at how it will look, then you simply need to select a clip from down here. So once you have your clip selected, you can preview how any of these LUTs will look by left clicking on them in your library and then hovering over the clip, kind of scrubbing through it to see how it will look at each of your frames. And you can do that for as many of these as you want. Generally speaking, you'd be trying to go for some kind of look. So this particular LUT seems to add a lot of color vibrance to the video and also make it feel a little bit warmer. So I could use that. And if I want to apply that to the video, I can simply right click on it and hit apply LUT to current node. So that's referring to the node section over here. Another way that you can apply the LUT to your node is simply to double click on it. So if I take this one here, double click it, you'll see that it immediately updates my node with the graph symbol representing that a LUT is applied to it. Now in this case, because we only have one node, it's just simply applying straight on top of the entire video rather than any component of the input or the output. But as you would have seen, when you right click and apply the LUT, you can do that to a current node. So if you ever separate any of your components inside of nodes over here, before merging them back together at the end, you can apply one LUT to one of your nodes, you can even have multiple LUTs on different nodes. But for right now, we can just very simply only have the basic node and not worry much beyond that. Now, if you ever want to remove a LUT from the node, simply right click on it in the nodes graph and do reset node grade. That'll reset it back to the default video. And aside from that, it's pretty much up to you how you want to experiment with these and see how it can affect or enhance your video. Now, if you want to install additional LUTs, what you're going to want to do is to right click on the LUTs folder up here and the LUTs tab and choose open file location. This will open up the location on your computer where all of your DaVinci Resolve LUTs are installed. And in order to install additional ones, we would simply need to bring in a, an additional folder of LUTs. So I have this template pack over here, 35 free LUTs. If I drag that to the desktop to extract it, I can install it simply by dragging it into this directory. We have the 35 free LUTs folder in here right next to all of the other ones. And we go back into DaVinci Resolve and to make it show, we simply right click the folder again, hit refresh. So now looking inside this new folder, we have access to all these new LUTs, which can give our video a very distinct look. So that's the basics of how you can do simple color grading by using predefined LUTs inside of DaVinci Resolve, applying different color effects over your video clips, and how you can also install additional LUTs inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So I hope that this tutorial has helped you guys out. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.